Onivia, League of Legends highlights. That's just the tier list pick we're going for. Doesn't feel amazing here, but side laning is pretty decent. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, I, th I think our Gwens, it it's almost like they have a huge impact, yeah, but at the same time, they leave the control ward there as KTC this, and still life is going to flash in for this one. Knock up onto the Renata Glass. Big Cyclone, though, is going to be enough. The turn is there. And now 3v2, Dread trying to get it in. He's able to, oh no, just barely not able to get the kill onto this Wukong, but Ghost has got about 5 billion chakrams and is able to trade it back and will take control of the lane. At least Ghost not amounting to too much as here we go, fight over this Rift Herald. The first one, nice knockup. Nope, denied by the Orn as the Ornhorn is coming in. Big Berserk now as the Ornhorn knocks up two. Vikla gets the kick and misses the chains himself, but he's got a ton of damage as another knockup comes in from Rascal, the three man! Divide comes in from BDD, massive to try to turn this, but still only trades one for one. Mid laners are down. And the Rift Herald picked up here by Dread, still on the chase, looking for the Orn. They've got the damage there, Dread and Kana putting two and two together and they get a bonus kill. And because of, of course, this uh, turn as that's a lot of damage coming in, the poison is enough as Aiming does proc that and picks up a kill. This will crash through here for Ghost and that's gonna be a bunch of extra gold. 690 he picks up because it's also first turret. Because it's a two item spike for the Aphelios, but Twitch getting two kills, two assists here and some plates top side means that that now, advantage. Here in the LCK. We have Dean Shirley, the valuable one, as a double knock up into that backside. Great Devour, though, is buying some time for an Ohm Shim, but it might not be enough. He's got that wall set up, this BDD, and now the Needles are doing a bunch of damage, but nobody can get executed. Aiming on the front line has Chase to Chase with, don't have great follow-up damage. And the trade is, is an Ohm Shim, so kill goes to KT here. But Ohm Shim will be able to win the fight, so to speak. Not the Herald. But the fight, and that's going to give him the Drake here. Two Drakes in their pockets. Oh boy. Hextech Soul is gigantic for both teams. Here come the Needles. Needles versus Needles. Which Needles are better? Turns out the original is better than the sequel. Well, Riftmaker versus Everfrost. Oh, I know it's a different story. Is this is still going to be Rascal's turret. And Kana is pushed away. Cuz is over here. So he's going to be losing control of this bottom side. But this is way more significant because for Dome. Down with the Silas and then popped off in the late game before. Harold will connect. Wow. Yep. Just barely. Gets in there. And Vikla has the Hextech Drake with no fight from Nongshim. I think this is not tragic for Nongshim considering they have a two Drake lead. Okay, they've got a couple of members of Nongshim in the choke and Dread is the first to go down as Vikla does get the Ember's Divide here. And we got a follow up in that back line, but immediate exhaust has come out and lack of follow up here. See you later, Control War. Another one does come down. Vikla. Sailing underneath, very intimidating, no doubt, as the Ornhorn is coming in, just trying to deny this. They're trying to burst it, and they do get it, Twitch with it, and Dread is now caught trying to steal the Drake. Not going to happen. Follow-up comes in, the Devour is available, but does not get used. That is three members of Gnome Shim, at least, that will be taken out on the backside of this, as in goes Vikla, not going to find too much luck, nearly dies. As the Crown is still up here for BDD. Yeah. Means he's not going to take much damage here, hijack, but also hijack. means that again, no ship <laughs> don't go in as a team. Hijack doesn't break that. Um, yeah, that's all that. Like this is another one of those moments for BD where the dust settles, and I'm like, BD's got ult, he's got flash, and there's only one Emperor's divide that gets used in this fight. I hope we get a replay of that one because it was such beautiful play from both teams. All right, one uh, more contest here. He's still got his ult. Okay, Vikla, <laughs> it's, it's not your day. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but he's, he's trying his best, you know, and BDD's getting a lot of damage done. They're really trying to make this 2v5 happen as BDD goes in, and it is just desperation at this point. No reason to do that, really, but you can tell that uh, kind of broken at this point. KT Rolster with now a massive lead. Tried to use it defensively there in that last fight, but was completely zoned in. Hextech Gate is so busted for Silas in a fight like this where he can completely just zone BDD away. That's going to force Devour here now, as this game feels like all but gone. Absolute disaster. Maybe we get a Penta at least at this point, as there's not too much else to say. KT, they take one big fight, finally. It felt like they were really 
little cracks here and there that they were finding, but now after this last couple of minutes, three or four minutes even, it is uh, just a little bit too much for Nongshim to handle and everything is falling apart. Certainly did. This game was not about the Silas pick, it was about the Twitch pick. Bye bye, Dread. See ya. <laughs> Sorry, I did the play by play on that one, Valors. You can take the rest. No, it was good. I, I, I loved it. We should, we should switch it up one day. <laughs> yeah, but uh, KT, they probably could have just pushed it in, but it is a Zier. And so no reason to force it here. A couple of inhibitors will go down. And a Baron power play of 7,000 gold. Really going to boost those numbers here tonight, aren't you, KT? 700 bounty on a 707 Twitch? Hmm, lots of seven. That's, wow. It's time to uh, go play to the casino. The, play the lottery. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's going on hit here? The slots? Yeah. Uh, here we go again as Dongshim desperate to try to fight something. They feel like they have an advantage in this one, but honestly, the wallet's extremely heavy at this point. Ghost and BDD trying to play front to back, but guess who's here? It is the rat himself. Not able to penta them, but he does the majority of the damage. Double kill for the 9-0-9 Twitch. Not sure what that means exactly. Maybe he's on Cloud9, not the team, but just in general. As Dread is going to flash away, will deny the ace. And maybe now KT will feel comfortable enough to end the game. She means Gog, Valdez. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I think you figured it out, Wolf. Wouldn't have thought myself. Now it says Luke. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> GG. That's the end. The Nexus goes down, and the last five minutes were a blur. KT Rollster, they start up.